basically set this to kind of both equally out the same. Okay. Okay. And then we push the zero button. And it automatically goes to cow drum. Okay. So then we get this out of the way. Some because we're basically going to touch the rotor tip, the drum tip, into here. So, this in and this out. So you can have one in, in, the, there, yes. in the corner right yeah. there? So where it's touching, because we're okay. doing a distance from here to the mm -hmm. shaft, and then we okay. do zero, and it automatically finishes cow when it's done. So that okay. goes back to the rotor thickness, which is one inch. Mm -hmm. And then, so toggle display, drum diameter is 10 inches, so that's, I guess, five inches. So it's figured as 10. Mm -hmm. So that's basically where it zeroes out at. Okay. And then you have to draw this guy back in, because <clears throat> if, if you did bring, bring this back in and don't bring it all the way back, let's say you got you're in a hurry, you got like that far your way, and you turn this here to set up a rotor, and you turn the birthday on, and then when you go to disc, it's not going to do anything. This is a track drum bar because no, this isn't all the way back, and then want to put you colliding. So as soon as you bring this guy back far enough, and it actually, it's spring-loaded, it disengages, but it doesn't hurt it. It's actually disengaged right here, mm -hmm. okay. and that's where it'll let this start feeding it, okay? And so we're doing the, the toggle display rotor thickness we're doing right now. So, yeah, rotor thickness. And so, you know, if you're cutting one, then you know that's where you started. Run it in, and you can know how far you ran it in. Okay. Because this way you could use it to measure a rotor. So then, basically, well, basically, uh, I mean, I we, we can measure the thickness after we cut it, right? Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can measure it after you cut it. Before, because you, you measure it before you cut to make sure how many thousand you can take off. Mm -hmm. And then I also think that you can go and zero. I thought you could touch the rotor and zero it so you know how much you're taking off of it. Right. You know, if you know the rotor's thick enough and you touch it, I can read the direction. Some way I thought you zero it. Not am not sure on that. And another thing, Sam, so like doing like the normal cutting, yeah. if I want to do one pass, right? Right, right. What speed should I choose? I put it in the middle. Middle, right? Yeah. Okay. So when you go coarse, that when you choose fast? Well, cause see, slow. fast is it, it's you're gonna get really fast then because it's it's uh, how you say it, it it's a uh, uh, proportionate okay mm -hmm. the faster that spins the faster this spins no wait no because this can spin a so given I, speed so I, I, yeah the faster this spins and so you really get where you're moving out you're on fast and coarse you'll be really going fast and you're not gonna get cut but medium and one cut that way you'll get a nice so you recommend the middle. middle? The middle, middle or yeah. slow? Right. Right. Middle, yeah, middle. Middle slow is too slow. Mid, right. Best for your final cut, you need to do uh, medium speed and one pass cut. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, that's going to give you the best thing because this is just like the old ones with the belts that had the, the three different pulleys on the belt. So it's basically the same thing. There you got three different pulleys on the belt. And we always leave them in the middle best for everything. So, so another thing I uh, ask like. Let's just say we had a rotor, right? Yeah. And then the rotor, they stamp in the back, say minimum thickness is how much? Right. So, by you already calibrated. Right. When we, after we cut, should they do a math already? And then what, after we cut, we know what right. the minimum right. thickness? Right, 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 right. So we don't need to make the calculation yeah, and all right, that, right? right? Because right. it's like a measuring tool. Right, right, it's made, yeah. But now if you move these, you need to recalibrate it. Oh, okay. So, but basically all you gotta do is just uh, you know, put it that thickness apart. You know, that between the, the blades is one inch, and you can hit zero. And then 
drum cow, you can just hit zero. If you're not gonna use drum much, you can hit zero just to get past it. You know, to run all the way out. So we haven't tried the drum yet. So yeah. to, in order to do the drum, of course you're gonna select that side, right? right? So you're but do but beside that, do you need to flip this? Yeah, yeah. So that's why they give you the little flip out thing there. You can loosen it and turn this guy up out of your way, and then you. You mount your drum on there just like the picture shows you know with the it facing this way and then you're using this and then it draws it so then once you find the depth of your rotor or your depth of your drum you know same thing you use this to go in and then you use this to come out to where you touch it while it's spinning you know let's say it's, it's spinning um and then you go to drum it's going to drag that bar back in they got, they got you got put it yeah, back the okay. rotor from the inside to the outside but uh, let me ask you a couple of things though. This, what this for? I mean. Okay, so this is when you're done. So let's say we're done with the rotor and we're gonna go back to, or we're done with the drum, we're gonna go back to rotor. So you can loosen this. And to find where the slot, the slot is, so this guy's spring loaded. I think it's spring loaded. I can get it lined up right. So. It's spring loaded, so now you know you're locked in there. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. So you only raise it when you want to flip this thing right, up. Right, right. Oh, okay. So uh, that just helps you helps you find what is is. I always wonder what this for. Yeah. <laughs> like when I would use yeah. it, we're like, yeah, what this for? I mean, even if you have it, even if you have it all the way down, I don't think it comes out enough. See, it yeah, not unless you you, you pull, have to unscrew it a little bit. Unscrew a little yeah, bit, yeah. and with that also. And that way help. you can, you know. Okay, so. Another question would be, can you just bring it up, like like yeah. like the drum yeah. setting? Like, is that good enough to clear the drum? It what if be, you got a big if, drum? If, if not, uh, this was is tethered with this, but you can still just pull it out and set it off the side. Oh, pull the whole thing yeah. out the side. Yeah. Oh, okay, there, all right. Okay. Okay. We never. I mean, you can set it off on the floor, but because uh, okay. it's tethered with the, uh, the cord on the digital, right. and then just put it back in. And, where you can find your by your center yeah. right there and lock yeah. in place okay okay that's good we we'll never do the drum so i like man we'll be surprised like how to operate it mm. that's you know? why you got this mm. <laughs> i don't want to do a video <laughs> crazy than really. i'm gonna put that in your bathroom so you go sit the rear. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so very good